Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origin Witch Hunt DLC. In yesterday's video, we met a new friend, Finn. We found out that we need to find a shard of an Alluvian and some lights of our Lathen in order to track down Morrigan. We're in a elven ruins right now, which is where a mirror, I think, was destroyed by a different Dalish clan. And that's where we're going to pick up well, the shard that we need. So there you go. Um, well, let's actually go back. Hmm. Can we go this way? Should we go this way? Well, we have to go this way now. Who is this? Infected Keymaster, kill them. Oh, oh my goodness. That was not expected. Let's taunt. Where is, um, what are you guys doing back there? Are you going to come help or not? I mean, it's fine. But I thought they said the elves left and only one of them was infected. Did I misremember? Hmm. Oh, and another shriek. Hello. Here we go. Two more shrieks. Well, let's stun you guys. And then let's massacre. Since there are now three. Oh, there's only two of you. Never mind. Um, and then I will second wind. That's Fion's plate. There we go. Any, any more coming? Nope. Well, there's a chest over here. And, okay, Finn did catch up with us. Let's go. It looks like they kind of connect around. Maybe? Does this go back up to the beginning where... The mirror chamber. Oh, I bet you I need to kill the key master. <laughs> I feel like this is a Ghostbusters reference. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, look, there's more. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry you got infected, but it's not really our fault. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to the key master. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to keep laughing about that every single time. <laughs> Keymaster. Well, it's quick save, actually, before we go in there, just in case. Let's get started. Let's see more infected elves, and there he is. And he looks like a mage, so let's stun him and let's uh grievous oops well let's uh grievous insult youth too and then we're gonna come here and shield bash him <laughs> dang dang As you can tell i as per usual i have tactic my companions to kill mages first because they're bad unless they're healing me then they're good okay key master we have an old bronze key okay but before we go on let's let's get started let's loot the sorrows of our lathen huh picked up some interesting gear, like interesting named gear as part of this DLC. And I don't know if it's a, um, a permanent thing or what, but right. So it looks like this goes back to where we first came in at. So I don't need to re-explore that side, thankfully. And we can't go in there. And Oh, that was the, the door that was locked. Okay. I'm like, I heard a shriek. Did I get it? Two shrieks. Well, let's just damage. 
Wow, two-handed warriors. That's that's some good stuff. Oop, wrong spot. Okay. Let's quick save again. The keyboard is all funny today. So that's a, an Olivian, is it? I can't believe this is one of the Olivians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. We have the shot of the Illuvian, but we still need the lights of our Lathen. We should head to Kadash Tide when you're ready to leave. Okay, well, let me read all my stuff first. You obtain the shard of a broken mirror, of the broken mirror, and then, has there even been any, no codex updates. Let's see what it looks like in my inventory. Mirror shard, shard from the Illuvian in the Elven Ruins. It's a pretty fancy mirror. Anything back here? So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. But just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. <laughs> Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. Uh, Haven't heard from him since his last attempt. That's funny. Well, yeah, he did say that he was from the Ferelden Circle, right? And that means he would have known... Finn, that's I, I I like how it connects together. Ugh, it's just I I'm a nerd. I like that stuff. Um, well, let me double check my map. I think we've gone everywhere that we can. So, let's quick save just in case I need to come back. And off we go to the Kadash Taig to look for the what was it the lights of something. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. A fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? Yeah, well, this should be it, but... Ariane? This is it, according to the maps. Right, so... I've, uh, been going through my old notes. Um... And? And I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. <laughs> so the lights of Arlathan are under this enchantment. Mm, are we unworthy? Well, yeah, let's just ask about the lights of Arlathan, because that's kind of going to answer all the questions, I think. That's my hypothesis. But... They might just be buried in the ground, too. Fair enough. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. Hmm... Well, why Ariane? Ariane is elven, so if it reveals itself to elves, we need her. Um, I don't think this is blood magic, because... But let's just ask just in case. Is this blood magic? Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a gray area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? Okay. Four of us. <laughs> you share the same blood as the Arlathan elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. 
I'll be gentle. <laughs> My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Okay. So you've arrived at Kadash Taig to find the hidden lights of Arlathan. Finn believes that the enchantment that hides the relics draw energies to it. And if you can find vortices of magic, they will allow you to see these energies. Once you get close to a relic, Arion's blood will, will reveal it. Okay. Well, let's save again. Is Kadash Taig, is that where I came with, um, Shale for her quest? There, I received something, but whatever, it's fine. And um, let's actually stun you guys. We're not stunning you, massacre. Because that should get a lot of you down really fast. Here we go! Okay. Oh, landmark stone for Alfred to. Oh, deep stalkers, lovely. I feel like I keep getting zoomed in. All right, let's work on the deep stalker leader. Oh, yeah, I forgot Arya has Massacre. Uh, Alfred has Massacre. Everyone has Massacre. It's great. Interesting. This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Okay, hang on. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. No. Do no. you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. Okay, I don't see anything to pick up with dwarven stuff that you were just talking about. Yeah, this is totally where we came with Shale because we read like the thing here and fought like a rock giant or something, right? And I wonder if that is the a magical vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the lights of Arlathan. All right. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? Okay, I see the little glowing balls of light. Yes. Um. I always thought dwarves must be dull without magic, but this place is amazing. Right? Okay. More darkspawn. You know, I thought the architect was supposed to get these guys under control. Time for some fun. But apparently, that's not the case. Oh, come on, Edward, let's go help. Or not. Okay, let's go stand in the little glowing stuff. Okay, we have to head over that or that our way. But there's a chest over here. A worn note. The origins and meanings of this thing are a mystery. The Kadash dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? You found an ancient document that mentions the elves that use Kad Kadhalash as a refuge. Find out all you can. What? Commander Ragnar of House Kadash, you were wise to send the relic you uncovered. The Shaper it has compared the carvings on it to various records and believed them to be of elven origin, perhaps thousands of years old. I would advise that you cease repair work on the warrior training grounds immediately and continue investigation. A team will be dispatched from Kal Sharak as soon as possible. Shaper, Shaper Warwick. So elves live down here? I should study Dwarven history when I return. Yeah, I guess you should. Oh. 
Well, this is more dark spawn, so don't get too excited. Who am I still in combat with? What's going on here? All right, let's lose. It should be easy enough. I know. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled Arlathan. A Bronto. Didn't we just read a book entry about Bronto showing up in the strangest of places? What is this green stuff over here? Huh. Oh. All right, let me just try not to... Okay, we came down here, and let's go to this little glowing thing. Pay attention to where they're going. Okay, they're going back this way. But there's a place over there as well. Ugh. Um. Okay, let's go back this way. Something here? I'm very confused. I think something's here. Aha! Light of Arlathan. Hmm. One of four says, oh, guardians, that what that's what that word meant on the scroll. Oh, guardians. That word on the scroll meant. Yeah, that, that's kind of important. Did I get it? The lights of Arlathan are old lanterns. I didn't realize the statue was capable of being literal. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's head back down over here. This is where we were. Pay attention to where they're going. All right, they're going this way. I have a good feel. Oops. Nothing here. Alright, the Duke Stalkers, and then more. Why don't I massacre? And dang! Chest. Another, maybe there's more of that. Uh, no, not more of that. I'm looking for more of the history of Kadhalash. Okay, so they're going over here. Um, why are you guys? How does that? Oh, I keep hitting H or something. That's what keeps happening. Oh, I bet there's one here. I see. Got it. <laughs> Hindsight should have expected resistance like this. Well, it's not that bad of resistance, to be honest. It could be way worse. That's two lanterns. We just need a couple more. Okay. Torches. We're seeing the magical energy being drawn to the light of Arlathan. My people could not have been comfortable hiding under so much stone. Yes, but they were alive versus not. So... Why is everything so... Okay, let's try another massacre. I love that spell so much. Pile of bones. That's what I was coming over here to look for. Over here, perhaps. Worn journal. The origins and meaning of this thing are a mystery. I wonder if the. 
That was disappointing. The Journal of Shaper Assistant something. The, excavation, the excavations are going well. I think Shaper Warwick secretly hopes the artifacts will lend him to the lost city, lead him to the lost city of Arlathan, despite Tevinter records that insist on its complete obliteration. Even if he found the site of the city, there would be little remaining of any worth. As for the artifacts, they must have come to this area by trade. Kadash Taig is old, built upon an ancient settlement called Kadhalash. If I'm saying that right, lots of the, lots of junk can accumulate over that much time, even elven junk. Shaper assistant Shala's journal. So elves came down here. It sounds like. If you hate the elves right outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I meant the dog. I was waiting for that. Like, I mean, I mean, Alfred, not you. Okay, so it looks like it's over to the right. But... Those carvings, the masonry. Look at the craftsmanship on... Finn! Yeah. Sorry. On topic. Oh. Pay attention to where they're going. that way, but there was something over here. A torn letter. The origins and meaning... Okay. I keep saying the same it's thing. true, then. A small group of elves took refuge here. Dyer got the carvings. These two depict elves forming an alliance with the Kadhalash dwarves after the destruction of Arlathan. Scholars say it's proof that they took refuge here to escape the Imperium. Should get a great price for this from collectors and historians. And I almost got caught running these things to your man. They'll hang me if they find out. I want to. I want a bigger cut. 50 or we're done. A letter from an excavation worker. I mean, it would make sense. Their city fell and they want to hide from the Imperium, right? So they go underground someplace they're likely totally not expected this to go. Like playing hide and seek, is it? Yes. Okay, there's three. This should be easy enough. Oh, what we could do. If we haven't lost this magic. It's pretty cool magic. Why aren't you dead yet? I hope I know what I'm doing. Yeah, it'd be cool to question them, but I don't think they want to talk to us. Guessing over the bridge, right? Right, okay. Well, let's quick save, because we only have one more to find, and I'm not sure how many more of these um, history pieces we need. But let's just take our time and keep looking. We're seeing the magical energy being drawn. So sure. Oh well. No, it's that way. Okay, so we need a scrap of paper. Cal Shirok destroyed Cad Halash. The dwarves slaughtered their own because they feared the Tevinter Imperium. Despicable. Well, I got an achievement. I forgot what it was. Um, and I completed my quest. But what does it say? We thought the Imperium found the elves hidden in Kad Halash and destroyed them, but it doesn't add up. The Taig was destroyed with conventional dwarven weaponry, not magical forces. No supernatural means melted the stone and no immense forces pulverized the pillars. We uncovered shields, among other things, bearing the heraldry of old Kalsharak houses. We destroyed Kad Halash, our own people. The only remaining conclusion is that Kalsharak learned that they were sheltering elves and knowing it would jeopardize their alliance with the Tevinter Imperium took steps to cover it up. Thus far, there has been no evidence to contradict this theory, but it has split the shape of it. Some wish to enter it into the memories, while others demand that it lies forgotten in the dark halls of the roads. From the notes of Shaper Warwick. That is really sad. Ugh. But I guess fear makes people do horrible things. Okay, we'll save since we finished a quest. Now we just need one more of these little lights and... Oh, hello, Bronto. <laughs> Showing up in the most random of places, as usual. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
group of more more dark spawn over here. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and there's the mage. He's still. Let's try to get him first. Okay, and then we'll kill the Berserker, and then he is done. Cinch of Skillful Maneuvering. Ooh, two to attributes. I like that. I like right. that a lot. This should be easy enough. So many poultices. Pay attention to where they're going. I am, okay. They were going right here, weren't they? Maybe here. Here we are. Here we are. The last light of our laughing. And here it comes. There's one there, and then I will work on the mage. I think I hit it. <laughs> Is this why someone could die? <laughs> We have the Shard of the Illuvian, and the Lights of Alathen. Now all we have to do is scry for an unbroken mirror. I saw a suitable place for the ritual not too far from here. Okay, <laughs> that updated quickly. You have the Shard of the Mirror, the Lights of Arlathan. Finn is ready to start his scrying ritual, find a suitable spot. Oh, well it's right there, so let me save again. And... Prepare yourself. The ritual may attract unwanted attention. You'll have to protect me. All right. Get ready! Well, hang on. Quest updated. Finn is scrying for the Galuvian. Protect him while he completes his ritual. Okie dokie. Oh, look. It means it summons demons. Lovely. And then let's just pee on some flight, this dude. It's either you or me. Um, and then we'll overwhelm or overpower. Oh, oh, am I bleeding? Oh, look, a rip in my robe. <laughs> what happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. <laughs> well, did the ritual work? I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. Hmm. Yeah, I've been to the Dragonbone Wastes and I don't remember seeing a mirror. It might be hidden. Or only appear to those who know its location. Okay, what did we do when we're there? We examined the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Illuvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Through the looking glass. Okay. Finn has pinpointed the location of an unbroken, uncorrupted Illuvian in the Dragonbone Waste. Get there and find out why Morrigan is so interested in them. Well, I guess that means off we go to... Can you turn back on your run fast, Izo? Off we go to the Dragonbone Waste, which is totally fine. I just hope I don't have to run all the way back. Oh, I don't. Thank goodness. <laughs> World map. Here we come. And Dragonbone Waste, this ancient graveyard where dragons once came to die, is where an ancient alluvian is hidden. I hope I don't have to fight another dragon, because that would be really annoying. I can handle draglings. They're like baby dragons, right? We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons. And mirrors. Yes. Yes, thank you. We, we know we know both these things. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy. Well, it's better than Finn's comment. <laughs> oh my goodness, there are cultists and dragonlings. Is this like the 
cultist from uh, when we went to, what was it, Haven and Andraste's Ashes, where all these cultists were worshiping, worshiping a dragon. On it. They definitely weren't here the last time we were here. This should be easy enough. Excellent. I've never met a dragon worshiper before. Not much of a small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire. Some people are easily impressed. <laughs> I guess. Um, although you would think they would just get eaten because it's a dragon. Oh, there's a mage. Let's go take care of that mage. And I'm stuck. Right. Can I just fly back? I know you, you can, but I'm coming to, to save you. Don't worry. I'm on my way, Alfred. Because that's a drake now. A whole lot bigger than normal. Any other mages? Just range dudes. Okay, I can handle that. Just no more mages. Can you kill my dog, please? Thank you. Okay. Ariane, you go after that one, and I will go after this one. Oh, and there's another chest. I know I probably don't need to be looting all this stuff, but I want to, just in case there's some other piece of lore or information or... A note from Morrigan. I'm such, I know, I'm such a softie. I don't know if softie's the right word. I'm such a, whatever. I, I love my RPG romance. I'm sorry. You can judge me. It's this okay. Should be easy enough. <laughs> All right. One more chest that I can't open. Oh, can I open this one? I can't. Dragon bone cleaver. Huh. Interesting weapons. Okay. Let's quick save and come down here. And oh, I hope there's, I really hope there's not another dragon to fight, right. but I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, you two. Um, Finn, are you going to join the party? Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, here comes another dragon. What is that? Uh, a Vartero? Oh, no. It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. Um. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? Maybe it doesn't know its own people anymore? Okay, well, let's just go and I will taunt and ew. Let's not stand in the purple goop. Bad colors, don't stand in the bad colors. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, didn't mean that. Um, well, let's pee on the plate since it's in... Hi. I taunt you again, just in case. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. Let's just keep DPSing it, I guess. <laughs> it's dying relatively quickly, but it does keep jumping all over the dang place. Um. All right. Let's try shield pummeling. I'll pick it up, don't worry. And I need to second wind. Let's not stand in the purple gunk. Pink gunk. This should be easy enough. Yeah. Right. Do your work. Why Excellent. is everything so complicated? Excellent. Can we get it? 
Oh, I got it. That wasn't... It's way easier than some dragon fights, that's for darn sure. And really, no loot again? Codex entry Vartarel. According to Arian, the elven gods created Vartels to guard the elves and their most treasured artifacts. They are so rare that even the Dalish believe they are only legends. The one you encountered was especially vicious, attacking even Arian, one of the people it was created to protect. Why exactly is anyone's guess? Well, I'm guessing because there's an alluvian. There are really no loot again? Did a hard save. So let's go to the center of power. And this is where the mother was and the upside down towers. Okay. Oh, look, there's a mirror. That. Well, I guess we couldn't see past the mother before, so. <gasps> and I see Morgan. The Alluvian. And it's glowing. We should. I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. <laughs> <laughs> no further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. Yeah, there's no need to run, Morgan. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. Hmm. The Illumins are portals to where? Then why haven't you left if that's true? Mm, I didn't come here to fight you. There's so I wanna do all of these. Oh. Um well the Illuvians are portals to where? To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was difficult. I remained because I sensed your approach. You kept the ring. Tell me, why did you come? Came for answers. I couldn't end, let it end like that. You think I would let you just walk away to kill you, of course? Okay, no. Well, I couldn't just let it end like that with you leaving me with my child. And you once argued with me that love is not weakness. I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. I won't understand unless you help me to. We helped each other, even so. Hmm. Yeah, we helped each other, even so. Yes. I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. Well, where's our child? That's a good start. He is safe and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. Hmm. No, that's not good enough. I want to know more. Because the child is yours. I understand. I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. What is your plan? I want to know. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say, even to you. Did she betray us? I don't know, but let's ask it anyway. I did not betray you. I left, just as I said I would. Yeah, I know. But you left me no choice. And what choice did I have? 
How was I to know that the battle with the Archdemon would come so soon? And when it did, I came to you. I needed you, yes, but I also did not want to see you die. And here you stand, alive. So do not speak to me of betrayal. Okay, no more questions. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. But Flemeth is dead. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. And yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. I don't understand what's gonna come. What's, yeah, why? What's going to happen? Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes, change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free. And is that what you want, to be free? What I want is... is unimportant now. What? Don't go. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Well, then yeah, take me with you. I want to see my child. You cannot know what you ask. It would be better if you stayed. For you. For us both. Hmm. Well, I want to meet my son. I want to be with her. Hmm. Yeah, I want to meet my son. Then come, my love. We will face the future together. And achievement unlocked witch hunter and I guess the end of the DLC where Edward runs off to be with Morrigan and his son which I guess is kind of I, I remember in Awakening at the end it says a couple years later Edward vanished at least that's what I remember and I remember earlier in the I don't know if it was yesterday's video or the one before when we were reading about all of the locations I think it said that it's been a couple years so that kind of does fit in with the lore right Maybe? Am I stretching? I might be stretching. But I am happy that Edward gets to go and be with Morgan because I think he does really care about her and love her. And even if he doesn't get forever with her, I think he wants what whatever time he can get with with her and his son. Because he knows with the with his dark spawn blood taint that he's not gonna get forever with anyone. Um, and it's probably not gonna be like the forever happy ending especially with everything that she was saying that all sounded all foreboding and everything but i i do like that he gets some additional time especially with the sun which i think is good but i did really like how this dlc kind of brought back morrigan especially and alfred i love that they brought alfred back that was really great and it was nice to I don't know if it fully wrapped everything up with Edward, but it was. I think it's a nice little bow on the end. And I'm really glad that those of you who did recommend it, um, recommend to do this last, because it is a nice, you know, end to this whole origin series. And yeah, this is the end of the Dragon Age series. I, as a whole, I really did like it. I thought the storytelling on the whole was actually really great. It was very engaging and interesting. I, I, I want to play it again. And to me, that says a lot about a game if you want to, 
you know, click, you know, hit exit game and start a whole new one, you know, and that's, that, that's what I want to do. I'm not going to because tomorrow we're starting Dragon Age 2. <laughs> But as always, I want to thank you so very much for joining me on this extremely long journey with Edward. And I hope you will join me again tomorrow when I start another new Dragon Age video.